Oh right, guys, yeah, we chase him. Alright, I'm coming up to some huge rock. Maybe this is white rock. Looks, looks pretty cool. Now, talking about rocks. Oh yeah, look, there's little stairs into it. Cool, how it feels that? How come you don't hear about these places? I like this, this is cool. I like stuff like this. So it was just boring bush. Alright, where do you go? You go left or right? Is there anything on that wall that we should know about? Don't look like it. Excuse me, have a look. Man, I love this. So it was called White Rock Park, so I'm thinking I might have something to do with this rock. I'm not seeing anything. You think there'd be like um, Aboriginal paintings or something on there? So you can see the difference in the wall. Obviously, that bit, this bit's protected. I don't know. I wonder if it's been cleaned. I wonder if there was something here and it's been washed away. It just looks like it has been, eh? I don't know why. Some more stairs. I tell you what, I must be getting fitter. Because normally when I, I've got bad knees, but normally when I walk upstairs, I can't. <laughs> so obviously, just from a bit of walking, it's actually strengthened up. I don't know, the muscles in your legs or something. Yeah, I don't know. Breathing's still terrible. Alright, I just seen a sign, Bluff Lookout. I can't really see anything. I suppose this would be a good good spot to back in the day. We're actually up a fair way. So yeah, I'm just thinking back in the day it probably would have been a, a good hidey hole if you're I don't know, I suppose the Aboriginals would have been up here. That's why I reckon there'd be groins in them caves, but I couldn't see any. Let's see what happens if we go free. There's nothing down there. I 
Вот этот берлог. That's another one of my theories too. I haven't talked about it yet. And someone brought it up the other day. I was spewing. Like I reckon. Well, I reckon that these some some of these rocks. I reckon they're hollow. I reckon hundred that there's caves. So being off circuit lookout. So I reckon there's caves in them. Now. Just say there is. How hard would it be for something that's very strong to move a massive rock and put it in front of the entrance? So no one thinks that there's anything there. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like if the owies are so strong, which I, I have no doubt they're not, they could easily just Let's just do an example. I see that rock there. You can see that one hasn't been moved, obviously, but you know, they could easily just pull that rock out and that could be an entrance to a cave and just pull it shut where we'd walk past it because we can't move it. There's no way. That's just another thought I've got. You hear lots of stories how people have seen yowies and they disappear. I don't know, they seem to get around. Maybe they do have a cave system, some tunnels that they can get to. But I, I know yesterday when I was out that um, I seen a few wallabies. Now one was right in front of me, it couldn't have went anywhere, and it disappeared. I could not find it, and it was a, it was a river in front. Yeah, what's this? Scribble up here, a bit of graffiti. Alright, so we're up even higher now. This ain't far from the car park either, guys, if you want to have a look. It's cool. White Rock School Road off um, Red Bank Plains. Now, my mate, I don't know if you've ever watched that video where I was telling you about another mate who they used to go um, uh, tubing down at um, Goodner River. They used to go between Goodner River, Boat Ramp and Tivoli. So that's Tivoli's, if his name Paul McLeod, he, um, he, he, he does a lot of videos around that area. I was hoping he would... Um, I put it on his side about something I did. I don't know. I don't, think he, I don't know if he's doing anything anymore. But yeah, so so my mate, yeah, he so he's lived in Redbank here all his life. But when I was talking to him about um the uh the yeah oh he actually found out for another mate that I was doing it looking for hours in it. He told me the story about the I think he said it was an oblong that was swimming. So if you don't know the story, they're out tubing. And this thing come up, it was all white, had a human face come out of the water. They were going along in a boat. And this thing popped its head out. He said it had a human head and it looked like a snake's body. And then the other fella said that was their older fella. He said that they're called oblongs or something. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll see him in a couple of weeks. Believe me, I'll be asking him. But I said, do you think it could have, you know, maybe you only seen the side of its body. And that's why it looked like a snake, man. Anyway, but oh yeah, what, what I was getting, so yeah, he used to walk through this bush when he was a kid, he reckons. Walk through here, or oh, Springfield before it was all built. And he's, he was saying, like, you never seen any yowies, right? But he was saying that there's just some really good creeks down in here. I said, well, where are they? How do you get to them? He said, oh, I can't, I don't know, I can't remember. So, anyway, it's a bit more of a story for you. But yeah, I reckon I reckon they're using cave systems. For sure. For sure. There's something else I was gonna say. Cave 
Oh, I'm a nail. I was probably going to say about how they, the wallabies and that kept disappearing on the roofs. Like, they would be right in front of me and they're gone. And it, it's, yeah, it got me thinking too, like, if a yowl is a bit humanish, a bit animalish. I used to think they were human. After seeing that picture of the Wiffrin one, I don't know, he don't look human to me. He, he looks more animal. So, anyway, I'll end this one. It's getting too long. Alright, guys, I'll see you on the next one.